Hey everyone, this is Ken, and today we're going to be doing a tutorial, guys, on a brand new story system. And what's great about this, this bad boy is silent, and you can make it any size you want. So let's jump right into it, guys. Now, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe and to give this video a like and hit that notification bell because it makes a huge difference. And you'll let, it'll pretty much let you know when I post a video. <laughs> Now enough talking, let's jump right into it guys. What we have here is an awesome storage system that has full access to all your chests. I didn't want to have anything discreet. I wanted you guys to have full access to everything and this awesome light indication system to boot. Now we also have a light indication here when you put your items in and we're going to put 10 glowstone to show you how this works. Now that light's going to go on, let you know it's getting processed and right here in the glowstone section, that light is going to let you know that you're getting items in that spot right now. See, all 10 is right there, nice and easy, <laughs> which is perfect. Now, say for example, you put something that doesn't belong in the system. What's going to happen here is it's going to bypass everything that you have set up because you don't want nothing to get messed up or lost in the transaction. So we'll go right into this chest right here. And that light is on, well, that light right there will be blinking to let you know there's something inside. And once you take it out, guys, it's going to turn right off because it's a great way to let you know immediately you got something that shouldn't be there. Enough talking, let's jump right into it, guys. Make sure you have a four block spacing on both sides and that that center piece is pretty much up to you. I mean, that really depends how many chests you want to have sorted out. Now, you're going to have two in the front here, kind of extending outwards. That's the light indication system. Then the actual chest area, which is about four blocks, and an additional four blocks going back. But right here in the front, guys, is about two blocks deep. And on both ends, you're going to have that four blocks of spacing for the input and output. Now, right here in the back, guys, make sure you add a row of blocks right there in that corner. Now, you could use rail activators or power rails. And I'm going to show you how to set it up so that no matter what direction you put it, they don't give you a headache. Now, you're going to place rails just like so, leaving a space in between and extend it right there in the back and in the front like so. See? So leave a space here, a space here, and do the same formation so that when you add rails in the middle, they don't kind of, you know, become a pain. Trust me, they could be really tedious if you're facing the wrong direction. Now, once you've done it like that, guys, you're gonna do that right across. Now, at this point, you can delete the extra rails on the top and bottom. You see right here? You can take that right off. You want to create this perfect formation. And right in the front of it, you're going to place your observer blocks like so. And a block right in front of it. Now make sure those rails are activators or power rails. Then you can place a row blocks right there as well, creating this kind of formation. And a repeater going forward. Right there, you see? Fantastic. Then you're going to add a redstone lamp right on top and a straight row of stairs like so. Now that we got that out the way, guys, right on top of here, you're going to place five large chests. And on the last one, guys, you're going to place one chest going outwards like so. Then right next to it, guys, you're going to place a large trap chest and you're going to repeat the same pattern right next to it. I'm pretty much going to go back and forth between chest and trap chest to create this kind of formation. Now, right behind each chest, you can place one hopper going forward. Perfect. And like I said, guys, you should have this kind of look. Now, before you even extend this to your preferred size, make sure you add an upside down stairs like so. And what you're going to do is you're going to pause the video and create your station. Make this as wide as you want, as many sections as you want, and pretty much as big as you feel like it. Now, once you've done that, we're going to place some blocks here, and we're going to really cover this up. Now, right across, add some blocks right in the back here, like so, and repeat that on the side again. Fantastic. And you're going to add some blocks right on top of those stairs. Kind of makes everything pretty much discreet. Now, right over here, guys, on the third block right here, See, right above the rails, you're going to add an observer block facing downwards. 
and you're going to place that right across like so. Then you're going to place a block right on top of those rails. Now, once you've done that, you're going to add three blocks right behind that hopper. Another three blocks from the center going outwards and then one underneath and delete that block. Then you can place a repeater going forward, a redstone torch, a comparator going forward like so with three pieces of redstone dust. And that's going to be your sorting system. Now pause the video because you're going to repeat that to each section like so. And you should have this look once you're done. Then you're going to place a hopper right behind each comparator like so going forward. Now we're gonna go here to the front guys. You're gonna add two stairs like so and two on top. And you're gonna add some blocks like so going upwards. And you don't wanna really cover everything up at this point. See? And repeat the same design on the other end. So you got your stairs, then you'll place your blocks. Fantastic. Now I just added a little framework, but at this point you could really customize it to your liking. Now add a redstone lamp on that corner, and of course on the opposite end as well. Now at this point you're gonna have to choose which side you want to be your input, but it's pretty much the same right across. Now you're gonna add a straight row of droppers going upwards, parallel to that hopper next to it, you see? Then two hoppers like so, And now you're going to place a block right there, a comparator going forward, and you're going to make sure you put it on subtract mode. Block in front of it, a repeater right there, and make sure that repeater is on two ticks, okay? Two ticks. Has to be on two ticks. So rest on dust, rest on dust there, and a block right there, and another piece of rest on dust on the side with another block right there. Then you're going to place a rest on torch and a straight row of blocks going upwards. And you're pretty much going to go on this back and forth pattern. So delete those two blocks to create this kind of formation and add your rest on torches like so. Now, keep in mind, guys, if this item elevator doesn't work, you could use any item elevator to substitute it depending on what version you're playing. Because I know depending on the version, things might act a little different and it happens. Now, you'll place two blocks there with a chest right there. Then you're going to add two droppers, well, two hoppers going forward. And you're going to go in this back and forth between dropper and hopper until you get to the top. Then place one more dropper, like so, and a straight line of hoppers until you get to the other side. See? So you get right on top of it. Fantastic. I like to add some glowstone, you don't have to, but it's kind of optional. This kind of brightens everything up. Now right over here, you're going to place a block like so with two going forward. Place a comparator with a repeater going forward. A block right in front of it with a rest on torch. And a block right there with another one and one on top to create, and create this L shape. Place a block on top of that rest on dust with a rest on torch there. A block on top of that. A repeater going forward and make sure to put the repeater on four ticks. Or at least anywhere between two, three, or four ticks of your choice, depending on how fast you want the light to blink. It's going to be the chest where, you know, if something doesn't get sorted out, it goes right there. And make sure to add that block with the rest on dust. Because you want to activate that rest on lamp. And this is going to be your input. Add a chest right there, like so. Two blocks and a block right there. Add three blocks right across. And two pieces of rest on dust. That rest on torch is actually going to activate the lamp. And if you want to, add some glowstone. Now you're going to need an anvil to really secure this. It's kind of preferred. So place a piece of dirt right in there and just rename it anything. I put it one, two, three, four, but you could put anything you want. It doesn't matter. It's so that nothing else can mess up the sorting system by accident. Now the reason you want that because you're going to add one piece of dirt or whatever number that is right across. And whatever you want to be sorted out, you're going to place right there. Should be on 41. And you're going to do that to each section right next to it to really set your whole sorting system up. 
Now at this point guys, make sure you decorate the front and you're good to go guys. Design is complete. Anyway, I want to thank everybody for watching. Remember to please leave a comment and to click that subscribe button if you want to join. Thank you.